you are, of course, working with Ultron. What was it like working with James Spader as an evil sentient robot, as opposed to a normal evil sentient James Spader? They're very similar. <laughs> He has that, you could do the voice, and you know, that just terrifying, I own everything, mellifluous kind of evil voice, and then suddenly just get very peevish about something. Like he can go from very intense to very comedic, and get there, like, on a dime and beautifully, and you know, in the comics, Ultron's just like, Rah! like, yeah, that's all his face can do. Mm -hmm. uh, in the movie, his face is articulated. Well, you, you mentioned that, you know, you did some motion capture on his face. What was that like on set? It was a nightmare for poor James uh, <laughs> because he wears glasses, which he could not wear. Uh, and then he's wearing a helmet with two cameras with lights on them shining into his eyes. And he's got to go around set like he's an eight foot robot very quickly and confidently over all this jagged double sets and things. And he's basically like, eh, don't fall, I can't see anything. He literally got there and the next morning he was in that suit doing a scene. And afterwards he was like, thank you for the weirdest day of my life. <laughs> that was tremendous fun. Oh, okay. He just, you know, he went for it.